everyone, this is Christina from Pretty in Pink Supply and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie our no sew bow strips. Um, we have the Ruth styles today and the Isabel style and I grabbed a few different um, types of materials. So we have our velvet, our cotton, our eyelet, and then another velvet in the larger size bows. Um, and I'll show you how to tie them so that you get even ends on both sides. And then I'll also show you how to add them to headbands and clips. So let's get started. Okay, so the first type of bow strip we're gonna start with is the Ruth Velvet. Now velvet can be a little tricky to work with just because it's slippery and it moves around a lot. So I'm gonna show you how to get an even bow. So first you're gonna to wanna to fold it in half, just like this, make sure your ends are lined up. And then we are gonna fold it back this way on both sides. And it does move around, so you wanna make sure you're just kind of holding it in place as you flip it over. Make sure that all the ends line up and then you're gonna grab with these two fingers and these two and you're just gonna hold, pinch both. So pinch two on this side and two on this side. And you're gonna flip it around just like this and pull it through your hole right here. Now, this is important. So you always want your right side of your bow so the side right here where it loops and comes down, you want that side to be a little bit longer because when you go to pull it, it's gonna even out. So you're gonna grab your left side of your bow where it loops, you're gonna grab the back of it and just gently pull. And what it does is it pulls your center and it makes things start to even out. So you just gently pull until it tightens and then you have a nice bow. You can kind of see that. And if you need to straighten anything out, you just want to straighten it out. Now to add clips, and I like for any of the um, bows that you're gonna make, you always just want to add a little dab of glue underneath your knot right here. And then also in the back, for the clips, we recommend a two inch, I believe this is a 2.37 inch, and I'll link all of this stuff below. And what you're gonna to want to do is just slide it through the back of your loop, or your knot, I guess you can say, Make sure it's even back there and then you're gonna wanna glue it because you don't want someone wearing this and it coming undone. So that's the most important thing is gluing and gluing under the top part of your knot. Okay, so that's this bow. I'm also gonna try tying it onto a nylon um, headband, which we also have available in the shop. I'm gonna do that one with the cotton fabric. The cotton fabric is the same type of concept. You're going to fold it in half. Make sure your ends are lined up. Probably should have gotten one that matched, huh? But we're just gonna do the same steps. But to add the cotton, or to add the nylon, you're gonna wanna just put it right in the center, just like that. And then you are going to loop it the same way I just showed you with the velvet. Pull it through. And if you ever have it where like, cause every once in a while, like this side, you're left side will be a little bit longer. You can always just flip it around and you're gonna repeat the process that I showed you on the first one. So you want whatever side is longer, that's the loop that you wanna pull. So since this side is longer, I wanna pull the one that's shorter on the left side. So I'm just gently pulling and just getting my center nice and tight and then I can kind of just adjust my center just like that. And we have our nylon headband on there. And then the same thing, you can kind of just pull it down so that way when it's on the head, it kind of sits up nicely just like that. And same thing, I would just glue right underneath your knot just to keep everything in place so you don't have anything coming undone. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you how to tie the Isabel bow strips. So the bow strips come just like this, just a strip of fabric. The edges are serged for you already, so it makes it super simple. All you have to do is tie it. So to start, you're gonna to wanna to have your straight edge facing inward on your hand, and you're going to want to open right here. So you can either do it with, depending on your hand size, like some people have bigger hands. Um, normally I do three fingers on this side, and then I pull this part between my finger and my pinky, okay? And this just wants to, you just want this to hang past your hand just slightly. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around because this is gonna become your center, okay? Make sure everything stays nice and straight. And the back side, so let me see how I can show you this. The back side, you're gonna fold upward, just like that, okay? 
And with your pinky, you can just grab it to hold it like that. And then you're gonna loop this part, okay? Kind of keep it close to your fingers, just like that. So, so I got my pinky back here. All of this is held together. And we're gonna loop this part and we're gonna pull it through the center. So with your thumb, put your finger on top of there and you're going to loop in right there. And this part is going to come over this part that's inside your hand. And then you're gonna take the, your pointing finger and you're just going to go behind everything. And you're going to, with these two fingers, grab. I'm doing this like super slow just so you guys can see. Okay, you're gonna make sure that it comes through this side of the loop. Remember, this is our center. And it comes, and make sure you keep everything nice and straight. And this side so right now everything looks fairly even so what I'm gonna do depending on how I want my center I can kind of like fold it in if I don't want like edges sticking out you can do that okay this is kind of where you want to adjust it before you start um, tightening it make sure everything is facing forward and then I'm going to grab just like I did with the Ruth style bow you're gonna grab the back side of your left loop and you're gently gonna tug the back side and it's tightening my center. You see that? Same thing on this one. Tightly tug the back side. And then you just make sure everything's staying nice and straight. And you can adjust your center however you need to. And you just want to make sure that everything stays nice and even. And you would attach a nylon headband the same way, or if you wanted a glitter headband, you would have to attach that the same way. Um, same thing with the clip, you're just gonna slide it through the back. So, and then you would just glue it. And like I said, I highly recommend gluing so these things do not come undone while they're being worn, especially by little kids that are running around, it'll just come unknotted, so. But super cute and super easy. All right, next I'm gonna show you how to tie our velvet bow strips. So with any velvet, it's always just gonna be a little more difficult to work with. Um, no matter what you're making, it doesn't have to be tying a bow strip. It could be making a head wrap or clothing or whatever it may be. It's always just a little more of a slippery type fabric, so it's gonna be a little more difficult, but the finished product is always worth it. So you definitely, it's definitely worth the hassle for sure. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is take the fabric, just like we did with the eyelet ones. Same, everything's the same. And we're just going to wrap it around. You just wanna make sure you grip this fabric a little bit tighter so it doesn't move as much. Same thing with your pinky you're holding back here. And we're just gonna loop it right through. Make sure everything stays nice and straight. And my two fingers are gonna go back here and grab this one. And this is where it can get tricky, so make sure that you pay attention. You see how I'm losing a lot of fabric right there. So, I'm gently pulling the back side of this one just so it tugs on that center, okay? That way I don't lose my length. Okay, and these two fingers are holding these two so we don't lose our length on one side or one side gets shorter than the other. Just make sure everything is facing the way it should be. Okay. And tug. And that just tightens our center, you can see that. And then you just kinda gotta adjust it as you go because the fabric does move around Just gonna pull this side gently and pull this side gently and you have a cute bow make sure this is looping right and then what you can do let me grab let me tighten this one just a little bit more now to add this would be really cute on our chunky glitter headband so to add a headband you can see how these are nice and even the sides are just a little bit bigger of a loop, but it's still okay. There we go. So all our sides are nice and even. And then if you wanna add a chunky glitter headband, you would do it just like you would add a clip. So 
So make sure everything's adjusted. And like I said, always glue that middle part and the back side. So we would glue both. And then um, before you glue the back side of this type, if you wanted to add it onto something like this, you're just gonna slide it in just like you would a, um, what do you call it, a clip. Just like that. And let me make sure it's coming out. There we go. And then kind of figure out where you would want it. If you want it on the side or more up top. And it kind of just hangs really pretty. And then, like I said, you're going to want to glue it. So I would glue the back side after you add in your headband. All right, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed today's tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you don't already follow us on social media, we're on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, all the different places. So be sure to follow along. Um, and I think that's all for today. You guys have a great night.